I have gotten these messages several times. I decided to answer it once and for all today. Even if this is my last video I'll be shooting, I'm really exhausted. But I decided to answer this particular question today, which is blood in the spam. I get some messages like, oh, my boyfriend, my husband releases and I see blood in it. And he's worried. I am worried. Nurse Miss Mary, what could be the cause? Good day, everyone, and welcome back to Nurse's Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Miss Mary, popularly known as a nurse with the difference, and I make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers. Today, I'm going to be talking about blood in the sperm, blood in what you are releasing as a man, what causes, what causes it, and what you should do. But before I go into details in today's class, if you are new on our YouTube channel, please click on the subscribe button, turn on the notification button so you don't miss out for all my returning subscribers this is nurse miss mary saying thank you let's welcome back like i earlier said today i'm going to be talking about blood in that spam like people call it there's blood in the spam there's blood in my husband's ejaculation Nurse miss mary what is happening i'm going to be talking about it today so blood in the spam blood is also known as hematosperma it's known as what hematosperma before i go into details let me just do something this hematosperma as we all know it's blood in the spam hemato blood sperma spam See, it's something if it's something temporal, it's not something that's occurring every time. It's not something that you're always seeing every every time. It's temporal, it comes once in the blue moon. Sincerely, I would say it's not something you should be worried about, especially when you are less than 40 years of age. It's not something you should be worried about, especially when it's not coming frequently, it's not coming regularly. You just see it maybe once in a year, once in six months, and you're like, Oh, immediately you just see it, especially when you just see it for the very first time, you're like worried, oh. What should I do? What should I do? This is unusual. The fact is sometimes it's not something you should be worried about. But if you really need to see a doctor in regards to that, it's advisable. You see, if you are worried, you are perturbed, you can see a doctor to get a better clarification about blood in that spam you are having. Then the second thing I have to share with you is also don't mistake this blood in your spam when you have sex with your wife or your partner Um when she's on her meses or when she just finished her meses don't mistake that so when she just finished her meses you have sex or when she's on her meses you have sex there could be blood in that semen when you ejaculate and you feel it's your blood no it might not be your blood it might be that coming from her so it's not something you should be worried about then also if blood in your urine you're having blood in your urine that could be something different entirely not blood in your semen so this thing should not be mistaken for what hematosperma so when you're having sexual intercourse with your partner during their meses it could be that blood you are seeing and not your blood i are suspecting it's that so then that takes us proper to the various causes of blood in the sperm. So the first one I have to share with you is seminal vasculitis. Seminal vasculitis. Seminal vasculitis simply means there is an infection of the seminal vesicles of the female. Your vesicles, you know those vesicles. There could be an infection of one or the two or both vesicles. So when there's an infection of that vesicles, vasculitis, it can result in bleeding. Um, uh, it can result in blood in your sperm. That's what I wanted to say here. Yeah. <laughs> it can result in what? It can result in blood in the sperm. Then the second one I have to share with you is prostatitis, which is inflammation of the prostate gland. Inflammation of the prostate gland, known as prostatitis, can lead to bleeding um, alongside with the sperm. So uh, this is it can be as a result of infection. It can be as a result of what? Infection. Then the third one I have to share with you is urethritis, which is inflammation of the urethra. Urethritis, the inflammation of the urethra, it can lead to bleeding. It can lead to blood with the sperm. So these three things can be as a result of infection and the doctor prescribes some antibiotics for you and it goes down and it clears out. Especially when it's as a result of infection, it could be bacterial infection, it could be fungal infection. So after the test is being done, they determine what is wrong and they give you some medications to do it. So that is that. Then also bleeding. So why am I saying bleeding? Why am I always saying bleeding? I think I'm worried. All right. Then also what causes blood in the sperm can be as a result of sexually transmitted infection. 
especially those that don't have one partner they move from one partner to another they move from a sexual person to another so sexually transmitted infection can result in um, blood in the sperm so it's advisable you see a doctor do a test know the type of infection and get it treated as soon as you can then another course i have here is recent urological study so if you are a man and you know that you recently have some urological studies you know, like test your urethra you went for a test you went for an examination of your urethra so that can result in um this blood you are seeing in your sperm so recent urological studies is also the cause of blood in the sperm and then also um, there are other causes which are not related to what I just listed. Other causes that can be something you should take note of. Actually, um, something you should take note of. Yeah, there are other causes. <laughs> what are okay, fine. There are other causes that you should take note of, which is high blood pressure. High blood pressure can cause that um, blood in the sperm. So it's advisable to always check your blood pressure regularly, especially as you're advancing, you're growing old, you're over 40, check your blood pressure regularly because... A high blood pressure can actually result in blood in the sperm and also other blood clotting disorders like like hemophilia hemophilia can cause blood in the sperm if you are taking some anticoagulants some anticoagulation medication can result in blood in the sperm so these are the causes i want to share with you to clear your to clear your mind so you know so if you're having blood in the sperm and you are less than 40 and it's not frequent it's just temporal thing you see it once in a while once in a blue moon so for me it's not something you should be worried about for me but if it's like it's frequent it happens every time and also if you are above uh, 40 years of age and you see it fast fast go and see the doctor because as you grow older your body becomes weaker and a lot of things a lot of changes takes place in your body as a man so don't forget the causes I shared with you. I shared what seminal vasculitis, prostatitis, urethritis, recent urological um, studies, and also I shared with you sexually transmitted infection. Then in terms of the other causes, I talked about hypertension. I talked about some blood disorders like hemophilia. Hemophilia is very common with the male. So if you're having hemophilia, it can result in blood in the sperm. Then I also talk about you taking some some anticoagulant, some anticoagulant medication can result in that. So if you are confused about what is happening in your body, you don't know what to do. The best thing to do is to see a doctor for proper and definite diagnosis and treatment. That is the best thing to do. But I just want you to know that don't be worried unnecessarily. Keep calm. You get a lot of us get worried. We get stressed out when we see something strange in our body. Sometimes what actually kills us more is not really the illness, but because of the anxiety, the, the thought of the illnesses, it makes us down. It makes us devastated. It makes us shattered. So when you notice things that are strange happening, reoccurring in your body, it's advisable you see your local doctor, your local, um, your local healthcare practitioner that, know, that you normally meet up explain to them they'll be in a better situation to give you the prescribed medication and tell you what to do don't unnecessarily get worried if there is a problem and the doctor knows the problem at least it is half solved you get so that is what i want to share with you today hematosperma and i hope this video helped you understand what hematosperma is all about thank you very much for staying tuned thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to share with a friend if you got value for all my returning subscribers this is nurse miss mary saying thank you bye and see you in our next video